Today's video is going to be breaking down Jameis Winston in Madden NFL 16. What's up guys, my name is Cody. I like to make Madden 16 videos and post them on the internet. What we're doing in this video is we're starting a new series called Rookie Spotlight. And what Rookie Spotlight is, is it takes a little bit of time out each week to focus on a specific rookie player uh, in Madden and also talk a little bit about their ratings and some of the highlights of their ratings and also some of the weak points of their ratings. We figured we'd start off with the first round pick, uh, first overall pick this year, Jameis Winston. Um, you know, he started out with a good couple weeks and uh, we're really, really excited to break him down in Madden. Madden, he's a pretty solid quarterback. Um, the first thing to note is he's only got 73 speed, which is a little bit low uh, for a quarterback in Madden, unfortunately. Um, you know, but he does have enough mobility that if you need to get out of the pocket with him, if, if the defense is giving you an opportunity, uh, you can run with Jameis Winston. 81 agility, which is really pretty good for a quarterback. Uh, pretty decent agility. Acceleration 82, which actually means he's a little bit faster than 73 speed. He's going to feel like he's more of like a 76 or 77 kind of speed kind of quarterback. So he does have some mobility, like I said, if they if they really need to, if he really needs to get out of the pocket. Um, the next stat that I really think is worth noting is he only got a 65 carry rating, so you don't want to be running the ball with Jameis Winston very often. Not that you would be, but I just want to go ahead and, st and point that out. Um, definitely don't want to be running the ball with Jameis Winston uh, too frequently. Um, the next thing that I think is important to, to, to note about Jameis Winston is that he has 95 throwing power. 95 throwing power is really, really good for a quarterback in Madden NFL 16. Uh, it's really, really pretty good for a quarterback in any, uh, any game. Uh, any year of the game, but especially Madden 16 this year, um, it seems like quarterbacks are kind of getting nerfed as far as their ability to throw the ball downfield uh, in this year's game. But Jameis Winston comes in with a 95 overall throwing power. Um, it's one of the better throwing powers in the game. The next thing that's important to notice is that he has 87 short accuracy, which means he's going to be able to make most every throw uh, when we're talking about 5 to 10 yards down the field, um, You know where he's really going to struggle. And probably the biggest weakness of Jameis Winston's game in men's 16 is his medium uh, throw accuracy. He's not going to be able to hit those uh, those deep out routes or those... Um, you know how to uh, the slant uh, the slant routes he'll probably hit, but those like uh, kind of shorter post routes, uh, like dig routes, that kind of stuff, about 10 to 15, 10 to 15 yards. Uh, he's going to struggle a little bit hitting those with cons with super consistency. You see, uh, Ryan Griffin, uh, the second year pro, that's really not that effective. He's a third string quarterback. Actually, has better medium accuracy than the starter does on this team, and so that's something important to really understand. And when you're using Jameis Winston, you really don't want to run those deep in routes and deep uh, dig routes and things like that but what you want to be focusing on doing is running quick drags quick slants uh, quick out routes things like that are, are really going to help him uh, with his accuracy statistics and then finally the deep throw accuracy James, or James Winston actually has pretty solid deep throw accuracy when you compare it to uh, the rest of the NFL uh, most quarterbacks in this year's game uh, only one quarterback has a higher than 80 deep accuracy and that is Aaron Rodgers most quarterbacks are below uh, 75 uh, and so 76 becomes a, in a pretty good spot here for Jameis Winston and so he's going to be able to make most of those deep throws especially with that 95 throwing power uh, he's going to be able to do a really good job in comparison to some of the other quarterbacks uh, in this year's game the last stat that's worth really noting, uh, or last couple stats that's worth noting about Jameis Winston is his throw on the run rating is fairly low. 77 is really not going to get it done. Um, if he has to throw on the run, he will. But again, it's not something you really want to be doing. You really want to set your feet and make sure that you're throwing the ball accurately with Jameis Winston. And then finally, play action. There's really no purpose to run play action with Jameis Winston. As you see, it's only a 69 overall play action rating. It's not really going to get the job done. So what I would recommend doing is just not running play action uh, when utilizing Jameis Winston. Uh, and then what we want to do also with this is we want to compare them to another rookie in their class. Uh, and what better of a comparison to make than with the Tennessee Titans rookie quarterback, the second pick, Marcus Mariota. What you're going to see here is in Madden, Marcus Mariota actually has a little bit more speed at 88 speed. Um, he also has 91 agility, which is really, really good for a quarterback, and 90 acceleration. So he's going to feel like he's got about 89 speed uh, with 91 agility. Uh, and so that's a really nice combination of ratings to have. Mariota does not have great carry. You see Winston actually edges him out in carry and, and catch rating, uh, as you see there. So that's kind of important to understand. Uh, and then next, what I want to show is that uh, Mariota's throwing power is is six points lower than Jameis Winston. Um, his short accuracy is one point higher. His medium accuracy is actually considerably higher. It's about 12 rating points higher, but his deep throw accuracy is considerably lower. It's about 13 points lower than Jameis Winston. Uh, 
uh, Mariota's throw on the run is a 90, which is considerably higher than Jameis Winston. It's tw uh, it's 13 points higher. And then his play action rating is 64, uh, whereas Jameis Winston, I think, is 64 as well. So uh, with that in mind, uh, what I would conclude from this uh, ratings comparison breakdown uh, is that Jameis Winston is actually more of a pocket passer, uh, as, we, uh, as we've often kind of understood. And, and Jameis Winston is actually probably a little bit better for uh, your offense in Men NFL 16. So I would recommend Jameis Winston uh, over Marcus Mariota as if you're going to be a pass-heavy team. If you're wanting to run the ball, run more of a read option based offensive scheme, then I would recommend Marcus Mariota. Just make sure when you're using Marcus Mariota that you throw it short and not deep, and make sure when you're using Jameis Winston that you focus on uh, really extreme routes, whether it be 5 to 10 yards or 20 plus. Don't really try to throw it in that 10 to 20 yard range because his accuracy stats simply won't work for you. Um, but thanks for watching this video, guys. I really hope that it shed some light on some of Jameis Winston's key ratings and key statistics uh, in Madden NFL 16. Uh, we're looking to do uh, one of these a week, and so I really hope that you guys like this series. It's just something that we like to do. Take a minute and highlight some of the kid, some of the cool things going on in the NFL. Uh, I just think that's going to be really cool to do. Um, but anyways, guys, if you like this series, and uh, but if you also if you're looking to get a little bit better at the game, uh, what I would recommend doing is checking our ebook products down below. It's going to help you get better at Madden 16. It's going to teach you the ins and outs of the game, and it's really not too expensive. I think they're about ten dollars per guide, uh, which in my opinion is pretty inexpensive when you compare it to some of the sites that charge you you know 20 30 or 40 even 40 dollars for a, a simple guide so i uh, hope you guys are willing to check that out but that's all i've got for you this week i hope you enjoyed it and we'll be back next week with another rookie comparison we're also on our youtube channel four times a day 